Welcome into Steelers Talk. I am your host, Jack Sperry, and today we got a bunch of great Steelers news and rumors content to get to you today on the show. It's our second video of the day. First up, an updated look at the AFC playoff picture and where the Steelers kind of fit into that picture right now. Then we'll get into the latest Steelers injury updates around guys like Alex Highsmith, Dante Jackson, and even Najee Harris, um, who suffered a little bit of an ankle injury yesterday in the win against the Washington Commanders. And then to finish up today's show, make sure you guys stick around because I'm going to tell you why the Pittsburgh Steelers have not gone to the fields package to this point in the season since going to Russell Wilson at quarterback. Make sure you guys check out our earlier video. I broke down my eight takeaways after watching the film from the Steelers-Commanders game uh, yesterday afternoon. You're really going to want to see that. I talk about Russell Wilson. I talk about Patrick Queen. I talk about a bunch of players, and I also discuss how the Steelers defense stopped Jaden Daniels. So if you want to get answers to those questions, we put out a video earlier. I'll put the link to that in the comments and description of today's show. And make sure you guys click that subscribe button for free, informative Steelers content right here on Steelers Talk. Just yesterday on our watch party, we added over a thousand subscribers to our family. Um, and, and obviously those people click that subscribe button for a reason, man. So if you're watching right now, you want a place to get free, informative Steelers content right here on YouTube, this is the place for you. Make sure you click that subscribe button and join our family today. So here is the AFC playoff picture as we sit here today. If the season ended tonight, the, the Pittsburgh Steelers would be sitting at the number three overall seed and division champions sitting at seven and two. And honestly, there's a little bit of a gap there between the Chiefs, Bills, and Steelers, which I would consider kind of the cream of the crop in the AFC. And then the Houston Texans, who of course took that loss to the Detroit Lions on Sunday night football last night. Then in the wild card, you've got Baltimore sitting at 7-3. and three. Of course, the Steelers and Ravens play this weekend, so the winner of that game will be headed over to the division leaders section. Then you got the Chargers and Broncos both in the wild card section at this point. Both of those teams, I think, are overperforming expectations to start this season. And then the others involved here at 4-6, and six, the, the Colts and the Bengals sitting at 4-6. and six. I still actually think Cincinnati could potentially fit their way into this playoff picture by the end of the season. Then pretty much everybody else in the AFC is a joke, and I'm not worried about them at this point. So let's talk. So let's take some stock here and to, as to where the Steelers are with their offensive and defensive stats. So we start here with the offensive side of the ball with Russell Wilson on the field. Okay, 30.3 points per game. That is currently ranking third. They are fourth in yards per game. They're 13th in yards per play. Ninth in third down percentage. And then 25th in red zone percentage with just two giveaways in three games under Russ. And you go from good with Justin Fields, where you were winning football games with the offense, was just scoring about 20 points per game, to really thriving with Russell Wilson. It's opened up the deep passing game, which has opened up the rushing game for Najee Harris and Jalen Warren. And as a result, you're scoring 10 more points per game. You're scoring almost 80 yards more per game as well, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. Actually, over 80 yards more per game. The yards per play is a big jump from 4.76 to 5.62. And that might not seem like a big jump to you, but just so you guys know, 4.76 would be 29th in the NFL right now in yards per play. 5.62 is a lot higher at 13th. So that's a big jump from Fields to Russell Wilson. The third down percentage is slightly higher than the red zone percentage has actually been the exact same. But remember, uh, there was one game where Russ and the Steelers offense went 0 for 4 in that Giants game. And the other two games, the red zone offense has actually been pretty darn efficient. So you take a look at the defensive side of the ball now. Uh, once again, they're doing a great job. So right now with Russ, they would be ranking third in, uh, um, in scoring offense. And they're second in scoring defense. Only allowing 16.2 points per game. That's an excellent figure. The yards per game is also top 10. Same thing with yards per play. They're top 10 in all these categories, man. They take the football away. They stop you in the red zone. They don't allow you to, to pick up first downs on third down. They're doing a great job in all facets of the game on defense, and they've had some stretches where they haven't been great, but overall, this is one of the best defenses in the National Football League, bar none. And listen, man, because you've got one of the most balanced teams in the National Football League, you got a veteran quarterback that can deliver in clutch moments. He proved that last night or yesterday against the Washington Commanders. you got a great defense that's capable of stopping teams and really keeping teams to under 20 points consistently. And you got a special teams unit as well that can make big-time plays. So the Steelers can win on offense, they can win on defense, and they can win on special teams. 
Plus, they have a Super Bowl winning head coach in Mike Tomlin. This is arguably the most complete team in football today. And in my opinion, they are definitely Super Bowl contenders. Now, let me know what you guys think down there in the comment section. Are the Steelers legit Super Bowl contenders as we sit here today? Let me know what you guys think down there in the comment section and give me a yes or a no. In just a second here, I'm going to be talking about our sponsor today at Prize Picks. And while I'm talking about Prize Picks, find that pinned comment at the top of the comment section and give me a yes or a no. And with that, let's have a word from our sponsor here at Prize Picks, which is the best place to get real money, sports, action, all on your phone this football season. Join the over 10 million users and sign up today. Prize Picks invented the flex play, which means you can still cash out if your lineup isn't perfect. You can double your money even if one of your picks doesn't hit. Prize Picks puts their members first, so all withdrawals are fast, safe, and secure. When my picks hit, I can get my money in as quick as 15 minutes. Also, Prize Picks now offers Venmo for quick and easy deposits and withdrawals into your account this sports season. Sign up today and get $50 instantly when you play just $5. You don't even need to win to receive that $50 bonus. It's guaranteed. Prize Picks also offers weekly promotions that can lead to big payouts like Taco Tuesday, where every Tuesday, Prize Picks discount select player projections up to 25% to provide even more value for your lineup. So let's take a look at my lineup for tonight's Monday night football matchup between the Dolphins and Rams. I'm going to take the less on rushing yards for Devon H. I'm playing him in fantasy. I got to take the less on that. I'm going to take the more for Tyreek Hill receiving yards. And I'll take the more on Puka Nakua receiving yards as well. If you guys want to get a lineup in today, you guys can download the Prize Picks app today and use code CLNS to get $50 instantly when you play your first $5 lineup. That's $50 instantly when you use code CLNS after playing your first $5 lineup on the Prize Picks app today. Prize Picks. Run your game. So let's get to the latest Steelers injury updates. Of course, we had a couple of injuries for the Pittsburgh Steelers yesterday uh, in that game against the Washington Commanders. We'll start with Alex Seismith because that was the one that really looked nasty when we were watching it on TV yesterday. Jerry Dulac reported earlier today that Steelers outside linebacker Alex Seismith having an MRI today to determine the extent of his ankle injury. Not known how long he will be out, the probability at least a couple of games, but Nick Herbig is expected back on Sunday. And right now the projection is about two to three weeks Alex Highsmith to be out. But the way that he was writhing on the ground, the way that players look super concerned about him after that play, it looked like he might have broke his ankle, which would have ended his season. So the fact that it's just a sprain and the fact that he's only going to be out for maybe a month tops is absolutely good news if you are a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. And this team definitely dodged a bullet here. And it looks like he is going to be back healthy before this team gets down the home stretch of the 2024 season. And the good news also in that report from, from Jerry Dulek is that Nick Herbick is expected to be back this week in the lineup. So you pretty much replace Alex Highsmith with Nick Herbig, who we all know is a starting capable outside linebacker when he's healthy, and he's going to be after he's going to be able to get after the very speedy Lamar Jackson this weekend at home in that rivalry matchup. The expected edge rotation here, of course, you're going to have T.J. Watt, and I expect Nick Herbig to start over Preston Smith. At this point in time, I do think Smith is going to get in the rotation just like he did in yesterday's game against the Washington Commanders. Um, but right now, even with Alex Highsmith out, you still have a very good pass rushing trio here in Pittsburgh. Now, when it comes to Najee Harris here, we know that he left the game as well with a little bit of a scary ankle injury, and we know that he can play. He came back in the game yesterday against the Washington Commanders and finished the game, but he's not probably going to be 100% to play this weekend against the very stout Baltimore Ravens run defense. They are currently number one in the NFL, in yards per carry allowed. So this is a very stout Baltimore Ravens run defense. And a guy like Najee Harris, who really relies on that ankle strength to really push off uh, at the line of scrimmage and fight for those extra yards, we might be looking at a Jalen Warren game here on Sunday. So if you have Jalen Warren in fantasy, this might be a good day to start him because I do think not only is he going to get more touches in this one than in previous weeks, but I also think his production might be a little bit better because I think that his skill set might be better suited to get more yards against the Baltimore Ravens defense. And speaking of those Ratbirds, man, if you hate the Baltimore Ravens, click that thumbs up icon right now and support the Pittsburgh Steelers and support us here at Steelers Talk. It's the best easiest and free way to help out the channel, man. So if you want to help out our channel today and help out this video, be, be the best that it can be, 
And if you hate the Rapids, click that thumbs up icon right now. So now let's discuss here to finish up today's show why we haven't seen the Justin Fields package. And I get this question all the time. Jack, why aren't the Steelers using Justin Fields? Isn't he healthy? What's going on here? Well, I actually don't think it has anything to do with his health. He did have a little bit of a hamstring flare-up a couple of weeks ago, but he was fully healthy and he was a full go against the Washington Commanders. In terms of the question of why Fields hasn't been on the field in terms of a Fields package is because he's already had six starts, okay? And I think that Pittsburgh is trying to save some of his reps for later in the season. Now, why would the Steelers do that? Well, the reason why that is is probably because, well, if you hit, if he plays 50% of the offensive snaps this year, you have to send a fourth-round pick to the Chicago Bears instead of sending a sixth-round pick to the Bears. So what I think is happening here is I think uh, Mike Tomlin not only is trying to get my, uh, Russell Wilson really uh, ingrained into the offense, but I also think that he is trying to really not cut it close when it comes to uh, getting to that 50% offensive snap share for Justin Fields. And I really do think another thing that he wants to do is he wants to save Justin Fields in that package for this final kind of stretch of AFC North divisional games that we have over the final eight-game stretch of this season, right? You've got the Chiefs and the Eagles as out-of-division uh, opponents here to finish up the year. But other than that, man, you've got two games against the Ravens, two games against the Browns, and two games against the Bengals, and none of these guys have seen what the Justin Fields package looks like. Now, they've seen him play as a starting quarterback, so maybe it's not that big of an advantage, but I do think the Steelers are trying to save Justin Fields uh, to try to give themselves the best possible chance to be able to unload that and unleash that on the NFL uh, come season's end and also get them closer to giving up a sixth-round pick in exchange for him to Chicago and instead of a fourth-round pick. So what say you guys? Let me know down there in the comments section. Should we see the Fields package this week against Baltimore? Or should they wait a little bit longer? Let me know what you guys are thinking down there in the comments section. For me, as long as the Steelers are winning football games, I'm going to trust Mike Tomlin to make the right decision at this position uh, for the rest of the season. Plain and simply, man, we doubted this guy, or a lot of us doubted um, uh, making that move from Justin Fields to Russell Wilson in Week 7, and he ended up making the right decision here. So for me, I'm trusting Coach T. Let me know what you guys think down there in the comments section. Make sure you click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Really do appreciate all of your guys' support. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Um, because we got our Week 11 preview for Steelers versus Ravens coming out tomorrow on the channel. You're not going to want to miss that, so make sure you click that subscribe button right now.